Hello and <clears throat> welcome. I'm Jedi83 and welcome to my vlog. Um, first, I want to apologize the lighting and the camera, not the best. I got a new camera. I've been messing with the new uh, setup. So it's a work in progress. Can I sort of fix the light? No. I don't think that made anything better there. Alright, but um, <clears throat> today I'm going to go back to our old format of uh, question and answers. And this question comes from a Facebook group that I follow, and Miriam asks, uh, I'm a solitary practitioner that has just started practicing rituals and spells. After a ritual, I've noticed that I'm often very on edge and easily irritated. It's really strong, too. I basically feel like a ticking time bomb, and any minor thing will set me off disproportionately. Can't control it. I'm a very calm person, usually, and not at all aggressive. So this has me baffled. Um, and she asks what could be causing it and, uh, and what to do about it. And the issue is extra energy, and the solution is grounding. Okay, so. Uh, so when you do a ritual, or any type of magic work, you are raising energy. Um, as part of your spell, you raise the energy and you are focusing that energy. It does mean also at the end of the spell you have extra energy that you have to do something with. Some of it will be dissipated when you take down your circle if you had cast one. But you will still have some in your body and you need to release it. Um, the Corellian tradition, which I come from, calls this clearing and releasing. Uh, but most Wicca and a number of other paths would refer to this as grounding, it's the term I prefer to. And what you're doing is you are simply taking that energy in your body and pushing it into the ground. Um, if you know anything about electrical, it's very much the same concept uh, from what I understand. I'm not an electrician, so I'm not positive. Um, and the easiest way to do this is visualization. In another video, I believe, I believe I had mentioned three of the things that start beginners should do is learn meditation, visualization, and grounding. And this is where all three of those come together. You get yourself into a meditative state, or at least a calm state, and then you visualize the energy flowing out of your body. Um, the way I was taught to do it is sit ideally on, on the ground, if not on the ground, on the floor. You want to get down low. And then you um, visualize, once you're in your meditative state, a root, like a tap root, growing out of the bottom of your spine, down through the floor, into the ground, deeper and deeper, and sends out little feeler roots out, and then you take that extra energy, and you visualize it in your body as light, and you push that down into the, the root, down into the earth, where it will then dissipate out, back into the cycle. And then you retract that root, and you move on, and you have now grounded. Um, another way I was taught was you stand. <clears throat> I forgot my office, it's messy. I've been rearranging, but you stand. And you, you stand nice on the ground, ideally bare feet, you hold your hands up, and you visualize that light, push it down into your hands, then you let it rain. Think of it as raining out of your your hands as, it, as this light drips, taking the energy with you. Um, I know a few people who use that technique. I have not gotten that one to work as successfully as the first one myself. Um, but in Wicca, there is no one right way to do anything. There is... Um, many ways, and there are many other ways other than those two. Um, uh, go online, take a look, there's probably some tutorials on YouTube, there's tutorials all over the web. Um, and those are the two I can think of the most. Um, yeah. But, grounding is a very important thing to learn to do. It is something you should learn to do early. 
and it's something you should do often, especially and the more spell work, the more energy work, the more energy raising, the more and more important it is to do this. So I hope that answers that question. I'm Janet, this is my vlog. If you would like to uh, find out more about my, my practice, wiccan.pw is my website. And until next time, may you blessed be.